while matrices are extremely useful for processing and storing a large data set, matrices have several limitations that may not suit our needs. For example, what do we do if we like to put together columns of numeric values and of characters in the same data structure? Matrix will force numeric values into characters because only one data type is allowed. Both list and data frames are more flexible data structures and will allow different data types to be assigned to a single variable. In R, a list is a vector containing other objects which may be of different data types and of different length. Let's combine multiple variables that we have created into a single list. We can use a function called list and we simply list on items that we created before. We could also assign names to these objects within a list. And also, we like to save this into a new variable called my list. And we can simply name by putting name in front of each list items. We can slice a list by its index. This output of slicing is still a list containing the first member. Therefore, if you look at the class of my list having sliced for only the first member, it is still a list. If you like to extract the content, you need to use two sets of square brackets. Comparing to the earlier, the one pair of square brackets, now we can look at the class of my list with two square brackets and see the class having changed to numeric. Alternatively, the content of a member in a list can be assessed via names. We can look at the names of my list and we can use dollar sign to extract one member of the list. Let's quickly look at the class and see this is indeed the matrix. Data frames are list with a set of restrictions. Most precisely, a data frame is a list of vectors which are conveniently arranged as columns. All vectors or columns in a data frame must have the same length. With the statistical programming in mind, data frames mimic matrices when needed and appropriate. Most of functions such as column names, C bind, and DIM used for a matrix is applicable to data frames. R comes with a built-in data sets that can be retrieved by name. Using data function, in this class, we are going to utilize empty cars. Let's load empty cars by function data and let's look at the class of empty cars, which tell us that it is indeed a data frame. Empty cars contain statistics about 32 cars in 1974, including miles per gallon, weight, number of cylinders, and others. Each row is one car, and each column one of many characteristics. Let's see a hell file about empty cars with question mark, empty cars. RStudio provides a functionality to display the data in a spreadsheet using function called view 
empty cars. And here, we see all 32 observations of 11 variables in a spreadsheet. However, maybe you do not want to look at every data points that's available in empty cars. One of the most useful functions in R is head, which only shows the first six rows of a data frame. Since the data may be very large, it is a good way to get an idea of its contents. Let's look at head of empty cars, which simply provides six rows of the data. Like how we obtained summary statistics of a vector, we can apply summary function to a data frame. See that each column is summarized independently, and for each column, we get six summary statistics such as mean, max, and median, and min. And a data frame can be thought of as a list with the vectors that have the same length. We can also look at each column by their names. Let's first look at the names of empty cars and note that this is equivalent to looking at the column names of empty cars. You can retrieve a specific column by name, such as empty cars, and we want to look at miles per gallon. We don't have to use dollar sign. We could also use empty cars using uh, square brackets and put MPG within double quotation marks. Alternatively, we can use the index within square brackets to subset a data frame. This is identical to how we subset a matrix. Here, we can look at empty cars and obtain just the first column. Of course, we can also obtain multiple rows by using square brackets. And now I ask one through third rows of my empty cars.